Let's try this again. Boom. What's going on, everybody? This is Kev the Barber with another classic, and today we're gonna be going over how to get your haircuts faster. Last episode, I showed you a little clip of the haircut that I did um, on the slow day or whatever, and I realized, like, never really talked about how to get your haircuts faster. The most important skill for a barber is their eye. So it's like, you can not be textbook, hold your shear properly, but as long as you have the eye, you can come out with a good haircut. If the opposite is true, then you will not have a good haircut. Like, if you have the best techniques, but your eye isn't there, like your scissor over comb is dope, you can do a clipper over comb, create the most perfect lines and all this but you don't know how to make the haircut look good like you don't have a good style like you're sure the fade is blended but the overall haircut looks trash the client's not going to care how blurry the fade is if the shape doesn't fit what he wants it to be i say all that to say the way you think about all of that is tied into how fast you can do a haircut because how fast you can do a haircut really is just when do you say you're done you know because i can really be on a haircut for 10 hours but you need to have a, a certain system not that it has to be time but it just has to be structured enough for you to know exactly where you're going when you get there and when you're done back on topic i said i said a whole lot i always ramble but anyway you guys have been on this channel for a long time you've seen a lot of my haircuts and a lot of what i do is show you how to create a line show you how to take it out show you the best ways of doing a shape up do's and don'ts all these things right but one thing i see that i haven't really done is shown you guys how to structure the haircut how to move quickly through one like how to know when you're finished and how to move quickly through it so after doing hair for the past nine years you kind of come up with a system now this is my system i'm not saying you need to have it. I think it's pretty good. I think it's the best. That's why I use it. But you can take it for what you wish, improve it if you like or whatever. So I really have a five step overall system for every haircut. I start with the shape like the overall shape. How do you want the hair to look? Do you want it to be straight up? Do you want it to be wedged? Do you want to have a round shape? Do you want it, a beard? Do you want it to be straight down? Do you want it to be like, first thing I attack is the shape. Now, if somebody comes in every two weeks, the shape is already there right so usually number one doesn't happen every haircut because the shape is already there but sometimes the shape grows out a little bit like for our three weekers our monthers and on right so that's the first one shape and after you create the shape you fade so you make the shape and then you fade the shape then after you fade the shape you do the hairline you just do the shape up boom you make sure you get through the fade now the steps within the fade vary for me when i'm doing a skin fade i create the line you make that guideline then you fade that out after i fade that out i fade from top down so i'm fading down and blending out that bottom line and then I come through with the ball there and fade up into it now that's my system because when I create a line and then I put the ball there in right after I tend to create two lines so I like to do the entire fade then finish it with the ball there so that I can see what I'm doing and not make sure I'm not creating a line when you do the shape fade shape up then you refine when you do a shape up, the dark spots and the light spots kind of pop out some more. I don't know if you noticed that. Knowing that, you don't want to try and take out all the imperfections before you do the shape up to then do the shape up and go back to the imperfections. This is where people's time really gets messed up. They keep going over the same spot over and over and over. Meanwhile, you're on the no guard. I just finished the fade and I'm about to do the shape up. I'm going to come back around and you're still on that. After you do the shape, the fade into the shape, then you do the shape up and come back around, fix the fade, you then style and finish. It, and then you're done that's the order when you do each part of the steps you need to stay fully 100 in those steps when you're doing a shape don't think about don't think about fading when you're doing the shape don't think about shape ups when you're doing the, the shape you're focused on the shape not all on the shape make sure you've completed the shape so when you go to the fade you're not changing the shape when you're fading and you're not trying to shape up when you're fading you're not trying to style when you're fading like you're just fading i mean you're fading with style in mind but you are not styling you're fading right now and you're done and after you're done fading you go to shape up and when you shape up you're not fading when you shape up you're just shaping up you're not changing the shape when you shape up with all these steps if you don't go there and complete it and move to the next you'll be overwhelmed this idea in psychology we call compartmentalization not only are a lot of barbers going through haircut for a long time but during that time period they're stressed out i know my exact process from when i start a haircut so not only am i cutting hair and going through it quickly i'm cutting hair quickly and 
calmly because all I'm focused on is each step when I'm going through it. Now for a beginner who's taking an hour and a half, they're stressed, they're sweating out, they're sweating because, oh, I did the shape, oh no, I need to do the fade, I need to do the shape up. The brain isn't wired to focus on all those things at the same time. So the idea is not only do your haircuts become something more calm, they become better in quality then too because if you're cutting hair efficiently and in a calm state of mind, your results are gonna be more confident, well done, more quality. Now, if you're frantic and going through, like you have an hour and a half and you got somebody waiting here and they go, okay, all right, I'm done, you know? You need to know what you're doing before you get into it. Have, a, have an understanding of what you're doing before you get into it. That's why the consultation is so important. If you don't have a good idea of what you're doing, you can't have a good idea of what they want and you can't have a good idea of how to do it. You know, it, it stems from knowing what you're doing or knowing how to do, having systems and knowing what they want and joining those two together to create a baby, which is that haircut. So I know that was a mouthful, that was a lot. The more you focus on creating a system and then following that system, the better you'll get at it and the happier you'll be and the more able you'll be able to work in a fast paced shop or be booked in. Because for some people, if you're cutting an hour and a half and you're booked, you still can't really pay the bills. I mean, it's two hours, it takes two hours to do a fade. You gotta hurry that up, bro. You gotta be realistic. <laughs> Thank you guys, everybody who put most definitely under our last, my last video. Thanks, the next video I'm gonna be working on, actually gonna cut my hair in a second, is the self-cut. Got a little surprise for y'all. It's not gonna be the same way that I usually do self-cuts. This one's gonna be a lot different. Stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Helps out, helps the videos. I don't know how much you guys are YouTube connoisseurs, but it really helps the algorithm and it gets the videos to people who are looking for them instead of just guys who are subscribed. Even that, people who subscribe don't even really get much notification, which is crazy to me, but uh, thank you guys for watching.